beginning of spring can be a very awkward time with the weather, especially depending on where you live. When we're transitioning into winter to spring outfits. It's kind of tough on knowing what to wear because the weather is so bipolar. And especially where I live, the weather is bipolar. It's basically still winter. In this video, I'm going to show you some of my spring outfits and how I style them and how I'm transitioning from the winter to spring fashion. My name is Ariel and welcome to my channel. If you are new or not, hello. My channel has a lot of fashion, lifestyle, travel content. So if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video. And let's go ahead and get into these looks, okay? So for my first outfit, I really want to incorporate tights. I feel like tights are a really great way to transition from winter to spring. I don't have any colorful tights, but I definitely found some tights at Target, like probably like a month ago. And they were literally five, oh, not me dropping it. It was literally $5. Like look at these cute thigh highs, $5, these floral ones. And I also have knee high floral ones. So I'm thinking that I want to probably try these tights out, the floral ones. And just base my outfit off of these tights, literally. So it's so funny because like, when you're younger, you don't like certain things and then when you're older, <laughs> you start to like it. Like, when I was younger, I never wanted to wear tights. And like, when I was younger, I never wanted to have baby hairs. But now, all I do is baby hairs and I'm a fan of tights. Like, it's so crazy how you change from when you're younger to when you're older. Like. Okay, so we have the skirt and the tights on. This low-key would be cute as an outfit with this t-shirt, but I don't think I wanna wear this t-shirt. My vision is kind of an all black moment. And I know usually this spring, spring colors are like pale, pastel colors, bright colors, and that's great. I also feel like you don't always have to follow what the colors of the season are. Like for spring, you don't have to wear spring colors in the spring, like you can wear black. So now we need a top and I'm thinking I'm gonna do this red top. When I wear something with more volume or ruffles or texture at the bottom, I like to contrast it with a more form-fitting structured top. So that's what I did here. And I'm thinking for a jacket because, you know, it's still gonna be cold if you go outside like this in the spring. So you need like a light jacket to put over this. So I'm going full leather jacket and I low-key want like if you see the vision like I want a belt to cinch like this so it kind of gives even more volume to the bottom of okay so I don't know if you guys can tell how like the bottom is kind of, it gives more like structured volume since I cinched it and I just cinched it with like just a regular belt. I don't have many belts, that's something that I actually need to like get more of. And I added these platform boots, chunky black boots. And now for jewelry, I'm really gonna go super feminine type of jewelry because I feel like the black and the red just makes this very like, a like, dark masculine look so we're gonna go with pearls so i'm just gonna layer a bunch of different and i also actually i'm already wearing these gold necklaces i'll just leave those on and then we're gonna just layer some pearls and even more oh my gosh this is tangled Okay, so I just layered all of these necklaces, kind of crazy, but these pearls, gold necklaces, this red necklace, I 
I think I'm gonna keep the stud earrings and I'm just gonna keep my jewelry the same. Uh I just feel like for me for the outfit I wanted it cinched like this and I would have kept the pants you see but I can't cinch it right now because I don't have anything to cinch it with I could just use like a hair tie but like for the purpose of me if I were to actually wear this out I would need something to cinch it that like looks good like a brooch or like a cute safety pin, something of the sorts to tailor it. So for now, since I can't do that for the vision that I want, I'm gonna leave it out like this, straight, no cinching. And I'm gonna do the skirt to make it shorter because I feel like with the jeans, it just makes, the outfit just look so long. And like it makes me not look proportionate and especially since i already have like a very short torso some a shirt that makes my torso look longer and then me wearing since i'm short too me wearing long uh oversized pants it just makes me not look the best like as flattering so i feel like with the longer shirt i need to shorten up the bottom I can't just be wearing like long long I feel like and when I think about it in my head I would need this short this shirt to be a little shorter for me to still wear the jeans if that made any sense at all but I'm gonna change into these so I changed into the mini skirt and then I unbuttoned a few buttons just so you can like see the different layers and then I'm really just liking this double collar moment I feel like did I just invent something? Or it's probably invented already, but this double collar moment. If I see on a runway someone do a double collar moment and there was never a double, I need y'all run me my check, okay? But yeah, okay. So I'm liking this better. Even this could be like this. I would want it to be. Lucky. I have nothing to cinch. Like I'd want it like this, Lucky. But I don't have anything to cinch it with. I need to get something that's like I'm able to cinch easily without like permanently tailoring the shirt. You know what I mean? So we're doing this and I would just wear with my legs out on like a warmer spring day but I feel like spring is not giving warm right now so we're gonna put some knee high boots on. These Mavi Topi boots and I really like it with it. Like it just adds some contrast to the outfit since it's all denim and just like the layer of the sheer shirt also add some contrast to the outfit which i really like so now accessories i still have all my gold chains on but you can't really see them because they're under the shirt so for the gold accessories i'm sorry if the lighting is kind of not that great the sun is setting so just hopefully the video quality is still good but so for the jewelry I kind of want to go like one of like chunky jewelry so I have this acrylic necklace that I'm gonna see how I like it 
uh, to see what how it would look. Okay. Oh. It's so hard putting jewelry on necklaces on by yourself. Uh, I kind of want it more like a choker. Not like too tight though. But. These acrylic bracelets that I get when I thrift. I feel like I find a lot of cool, unique jewelry when I'm thrifting. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna layer these two, like a skinny one and a thick one on the same hand. For shades, I think I wanna do these gold ones. Or these yellow. No, not the yellow. I don't like the yellow. No. Grab these, the brown ones. Or should I do Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do these. do this cream shoulder bag and it's the full outfit y'all in my light but good thing this is the last outfit so I'm just putting this green shirt on change my earrings real quick to <laughs> oh okay I'm gonna stack some jewelry all the jewelry Like this, I kind of want it asymmetrical looking. And then the pants, I rolled up into like a capri type of pant. Y'all can't really see, you'll see in the side by side. And then I have my um, heels. that I came up with for the spring fashion outfits and I really hope that you guys enjoyed please let me know what your favorite was comment what you're gonna wear this spring and just leave a comment down below I definitely want to interact with y'all in the comments so just let me know what you're thinking and yeah I really hope y'all enjoy stay tuned for a lot more videos so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and catch up with y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.